I'm very happy to be here. Uh, this is a great opportunity, and for that, I'm uh, very thankful to the scientific committee and to the organization for this wonderful event. Um, so, I'm uh, a PhD student from the University of Coimbra and uh, working under the supervision of uh, Maria Manuel Tumentino and Fernando Catalano. Um, part of my PhD project is uh, something to talk about, and um, uh, I consider the problem if uh, it was possible to, come to obtain criteria for uh, enriched functor to be uh, an effective descent model. Um, for arbitrary neural category 3, this is still an open question, but uh, despite that, I do have a few things to say at the end. Um, the main goal for this talk is to uh, provide an answer when V is a category with finite limits uh, for the Cartesian monoidal structure. So, uh, that means the strategy. Um, we first need to know that uh, the problem is uh, solved. Uh, we do have a, a set of criteria when, uh, for, uh, in the case of internal categories, to a category with finite lengths. This is a uh, result by uh, Le Creux from his PhD thesis in 1999. Uh, then, um, when the, for the suitable, suitable category B, uh, which I'll define later, um, that, uh, uh, where's the point? Uh, okay, that functor is uh, an embedding, and uh, Fernando Bocatelli has shown that it reflects effective descent morphisms. So, uh, in principle, we we'll take uh, the functor from uh, a new embedded, you see it as an internal defunctor, you take the criteria by the curve, and uh, you reflect it back. And, um, okay, these are the two main tools. Now, uh, one of the key observations is that when uh, V has finite limits, uh, the free process completion uh, is zero. This follows by a series of results. Um, I'll specify later for now I have the names. And um, with this, uh, where I can show With this, you can already show that. Um, And we get into. Is this okay? Can you read? No, this is. This looks like the fact that it isn't more. And um, we also have an embedding of B into a family. So we have a natural question, which is. Uh, does the cat into find the cat reflect the fact that it isn't more? And uh, that's what we will prove. Okay. Um, so first, we need to recall what is an effective descent morphism. We take a morphism P from a category with an uh, elements, yes, and um, we consider the junction. Uh, uh, there's a junction on the slice categories. The right adjoint is the pole back along P, and the left adjoint is the um, direct image composition with P. And um, what else do I have to say? Ah, um, we have this volume of by Bernardo Hugo from the 1970s, also attributed, attributed to Beck, that uh, the category of descent for P is equivalent to the category of uh, TP algebras. Uh, TP is the monad induced by that adjunct. Okay. Um, Therefore, we can uh, consider the eisenberg more factorization of the right adjoint. Um, we have that Kp, the comparison function, and we say that uh, morphism P is effective for descent when uh, the comparison is an equivalence, or equivalently when uh, the pullback functor is monadic. Okay? Um, we also have the two weaker notions of uh, descent. Um, P is a descent morphism when the comparison is fully faithful. And uh, it's an almost descent morphism when um, the comparison is faithful. 
for categories with finite limits, um, almost this isomorphisms are the polex stable epimorphisms. And the descent morphisms are the complex stable regular epimorphisms. If uh, you have categories, for example, of topos, all three are the same, they are just the epimorphisms, which is uh, one example that probably handy later. Uh, what else? That's all. Um, we will call the result of the curve. Um, we take a category V with finite limits. And uh, an internal parameter, which is um, a cause action on the on morphisms, is an effective descent. Uh, we have a descent morphism for the action on composable pairs, on the objects of composable pairs, and uh, an almost descent morphism on the object of composable triples uh, will be uh, effective, effective descent morphism in the category of uh, internal uh, categories. Okay, um, we have these uh, three stages of uh, epimorphisms of certificativity and um, this is pretty much short black box result uh, which is expected to show up for the, for the enriched case. Okay, so what else? Uh, that's it. Uh, so, um, uh, suitable category are going to be extensive. Um, an extensive category is said to be um, sorry, category is said to be extensive if it has coproducts uh, or small coproducts which are disjoint and universal. Uh, disjoint means that uh, for every binary coproduct, the coproduct inclusions, the pullback of the coproduct inclusions is the initial object and. Uh, uh, that diagram is a pullback uh, for all j, if and only if uh, y is a pullback of the y j. Uh, sorry, the coproduct of the y j. Okay? Uh, that's it. And um, uh, I have some example of times if categories uh, any cotonic topos, such as the category of sets, the category of topological spaces, and the category of categories. Some known examples are um, any semi-lattice or any thin category, but uh, with finite limits it's uh, semi-lattice. Uh, the category of finite sets, because it only has the finite coproducts, and then we have uh, compact outer spaces and uh, stone spaces. Okay, uh, those two last three are finitely expensive, but mm, they do not have, uh, not for all coproducts, not all small coproducts. Um, now we have the result of uh, Lucatelli nodes. We take a extensive category. Um, if uh, that's functor, uh, the power with the terminal object, which is given by, uh, sorry, on sets by uh, this code product of the terminal object uh, indexed by x. If that functor is fully faithful, then uh, we have an embedding which reflects effective descent morphisms. And we are taking V to the Cartesian monoid. Uh, from the previous examples, um, uh, uh, this one satisfies that property, that functor will be fully faithful, and it will be for the category of topological spaces. But if V is a topos, it's only true if, uh, if it's a connected cotonic topos. Uh, what else do I have to add? Um, yeah, okay, that's it. Those, these uh, uh, extensive categories for, it, for those that uh, that functor is fully faithful are those that are sortable. Okay? So the next step is um, to show that uh, pre coproduct completion is a uh, sort of. We just quickly recall what is a pre coproduct completion. It's given on objects by the set index families of objects in B. And um, on emotions, it's a function on the, set, the indexing sets and the family respecting of emotions in B respecting that index. 
Okay. So um, we have um, in the paper of that one in like in Walters, they have, they show that uh, family involves an extensive character. Then uh, recall that the trickle product completion is a type of category over set. So we can use the result of gray to prove that when B has finite limits, then its product completion it, uh, also has finite limits. And uh, both Son John Lewis have shown that when B has a terminal object, the co-power with the terminal will be uh, fully faithful. So, um, fan V is a, is a sorter, and B has finite limits, and this function uh, does reflect effective descent modules. Okay? And um, what was next? Ah, yes. Now we need to prove that the last function also reflects effective descent model. So we begin by recording the following result of uh, the um, We forgot a pseudo pullback of categories, I will write down here for, for a little reference. If we have a um, that f of f is uh, effectively sent as well as g of f and if uh, kj of f which is as a mod to hf of f is a decent morphism we conclude that f is uh, effective for descent. Okay? So if um, effective descent that um, this diagram is a tuple like where um, eta are this the canonical inclusion of B into fan B. Uh, this is the unit as a fan is a monad, but uh, the most many is that uh, we only require knowledge of this tuple like when uh, we take W to be the terminal category we will have uh, the following diagram. And this is equivalent to set. And this is the vibration I mentioned earlier. It's, it's a fiber to over set. And by a result of uh, Joya and Street from 93, I believe. Uh, this is also a pseudo pullback. Okay, yeah, because it's a two pullback and therefore yeah. this is a vibration, therefore this is a pseudo pullback. Sorry, by pseudo pullback you mean that there is an inverted result in this graph? I mean, uh, it's equivalent, if you take the pseudo pullback, it will be equivalent to the two pullbacks, and pseudo pullbacks are not the same in general. Okay, uh, when you have an iso vibration, in the case, a vibration are the eyes of vibrations. Uh, two pullbacks and uh, pull, pseudo pullbacks are the same. Okay? Are equivalent. Okay, now um, there's only one step left. Um, by a recent reprint by Fuji and Mac, and the arrangement of functor preserves pseudo pullbacks. So, we take this pseudo pullback, we map it via the enrichment of functor and we obtain another pseudo pullback. Okay? This is eta. That's the direct image of it. Now we are going to use Fernando's result 
the world dynamic uh, to prove that um, this function also reflects the effect of these performances. So we take, uh, we take a V functor, we view it as a fine V functor, and, um, and um, we can show that this uh, functor preserves uh, these isomorphisms. So um, if we assume that uh, our original functor is an uh, effective descent here, it's going to be mapped to a descent functor here. And uh, this will reflect that descent functor. Uh, it's, we will have a descent morphism uh, function. And since such is a top loss, it's the same as an effective descent morphism. So uh, this condition is random, as is this one. So if f of f is an effective descent, we obtain uh, an effective descent. Now we take uh, this lemma, we take a uh, like, uh, result, and uh, we translate it uh, into the into to be obtain a set in terms of morphism in family. So if um, our font uh, is an effective descent morphism on on morphisms, uh, descent morphism on pairs of morphisms and uh, an analysis and morphism on triples, then it is uh, effective for this. So um, there is a problem, of course, and um, these morphisms are morphisms, morphisms in family. And uh, this means we, that we have to study these the classes of morphisms, almost descent, descent and effective descent, in the frequent problem completion. Um, Though we have uh, done uh, some work in this direction, um, I believe there's room for improvement. So, but uh, before I get into the problems, I should mention what are the main applications, what can we do now that we could do before. So, uh, before, um, we were only able to provide a description for the connected cotton dick topuses. Now, we can take any cotton dick topus. And uh, our result also recovers the result of uh, Clementine when Hoffman, when, when it is a frame, at least one of the direct. They have an equivalence, we, prove we can recover on one implication. And we can also provide a description for the functors in which in compact house or for stone, uh, or uh, compact house for functors or stone functors. And as I mentioned, one of the problems was the fact that uh, the obtaining of the description of effective descent morphisms in the pre compiled completion. And as I mentioned at the start, I'm standing by hand. Perfect. Uh, uh, can we, we have a similar approach for the uh, symmetric morale categorizing? And the idea is to. Um, so. Uh, We have um, so we have the, the categories and the categories of a symmetrical model categories and Cartesian model categories are pseudomonadic over cats. Uh, so and there is an obvious forgetful uh, function. So the idea is to use a bijoint triangle theorem to obtain the left bijoints, and then you need to study this two functor uh, in the same way we studied this, uh, the category of uh, the frequent product completion, and that's the closest we have to uh, an approach for general model theory. That's all I have to say. Uh, I think. I have a question about this triangle. Uh, 
Uh, uh, so the only result I know in the literature works when all the functors are one functors between one categories. Yeah. Do you have a reference for, for the two dimensions? Uh, yeah, I don't know that. It's yes, from 2016, I believe. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, if you can't angle 